What's going on, everybody? I am Talvaka, coach of the Carolina Pancham, bringing you my season six of CNL draft analysis. I'm super excited for this season. I'm getting to try a lot of new things, bring back some old faces and some new, and I feel like this team is going to be unbelievable. So, getting started, I had the first overall pick, and I really didn't want that going into the draft because I was looking at some lower tier. Uh, Timons like Iron Boulder and Raging Bolt, um, but I got the first overall pick and I was in between three months. I was in between Gouging Fire, I was in between Dragapult and Iron Valiant. Now Gouging Fire, uh, really, it didn't really fit what I was going for. It was a little slow in my opinion for a first round pick. And Dragapult, of course, is extremely fast, but I've used it before and it disappointed me a little bit. So I went with Iron Valiant. Iron Valiant is the best fairy type available obviously uh it was 19 points which is the most points and is a fairy fighting type and this is going to be an absolute menace offensively 116 speed is unbelievable 130 attack and 120 special attack glass cannon not really my play style but um we're going with it uh these are just three of the moves that it has i'm just going to be showing off the typing and the moves it's just some of the moves um but it gets cc it gets knockoff it gets moonblast it gets nasty plot and swords dance it gets Vacuum Wave, it gets Shadow Sneak, it gets Leaf Blade, it gets, it gets Liquidation, um, Encore as well, Thunderbolt, uh, it, it's, this thing is absolutely ridiculous, Spirit Break, if I want to go, uh, Fairy with an offensive move for attack instead of running special attack, but week in and week out, this is going to be extremely difficult to prep for, um, defensively, because I'm going to click buttons, uh, I can run the booster energy item, which I can make it have attack, special attack, or speed, so every week is going to be different. This thing is a glass cannon, and it's going to do ridiculous damage. Last season, I had Roaring Moon with my first round pick, so we're going from the old to the new. Um, and this is the, the best fighting type available. It's the best fairy type available, and I'm extremely excited. So due to the fact that it's a snake draft and I had the first overall pick, it was going to be about 28 more picks, uh, 26, 28 more picks until it got to me. And... Amon I really, really, really wanted to try. I, I was like, it's never coming back to me. But it did in Jirachi. Jirachi coming in in the very end of the second round. And I was extremely excited to try this. Um, it is maybe the best steel type on the board. This and Treads, I feel like, are the two best steel types. It has all the elemental punches. It has Serene Grace, Iron Head. It has Thunder Wave. It has Body Press. It has tr it's just unbelievable. Uh, U-Turn for Pivot. And I can run this thing special with Psychic. I can, in Shadow Ball, I can run it physical with Iron Head and U-Turn. I can run it defensive um, with, like, Thunder Wave and all that stuff. So this thing, I I'm probably going to bring Jirachi every week, I'm going to be honest, unless there's a matchup where it's extremely bad. But I can run it Scarf Bandit for lefties. Uh, I can run Trick. There's, it can do so many things, and it's a fantastic defensive type. Uh, Steel Psychic, just with that, um, with Iron Valiant, just go hand-in-hand. Hand. And as well as my next mod... It takes care of steel weaknesses, it takes care of poison weaknesses, and it doesn't have a fighting weakness, which is really nice, which leads right into my next mod. And I wanted a Fairy Dragon Steel Core, and so for my next mod, I was between Garchomp and Kyurem. Now, Kyurem was going number 5, 6 overall in other drafts, and I thought Garchomp fit my team a little bit better uh, with my playstyle. However, I couldn't pass up on it. I couldn't pass up on Kyurem. Kyurem, the Dragon Ice type, 130 base attack, 130 base special attack, 95 speed, ridiculous. And then you look at the HP and defenses, and they, you go, this is a really good defensive mod as well, shockingly. Um, doesn't have a great defensive move pull, but 125 HP is not something to laugh at. This is one of the highest rated mods for a reason. It has Dragon Dance, it has Earth Power, it has Freeze Dry, it has Draco, it has Scale Shot, it has Ice Cool Sphere, so I can run Loaded Dice, I can run... Dragon Dance, the boost speed, I can run Scarf, I can run Specs, I can run Boots. I mean, the possibilities are endless. This thing is going to come in, it's going to click a button, and it's going to get a KO. So I'm extremely, extremely excited to try Kyurem. I think I have the best Fire Water, sorry, excuse me. I have the best Fairy Dragon Steel Core in the entire draft, and honestly, I'm going to be real, I don't think it's close. Um, this may be the best Fairy Dragon Steel Core that anybody's ever had, because um, you're not supposed to get Valiant and Kyurem. In another one of the drafts, we had Valiant going number 4 overall and Kyurem going number 5 overall. So for Kyurem to fall all the way to the very top of the third round, ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. So 
It was going to be a little bit until my next two picks, but I got exactly what I wanted. I did want to get another fairy type. I was always going to get two fairy types in this draft, so it was like, well, when do I get that extra fairy type? Do I go something lower and get like a dash bun or a Florgis, or do I go something higher and like really have a good defensive fairy? And what I decided is I was going to go with my defensive fairy next in something that can do a little bit of it all in Galarian Weezing. Now, Galarian Weezing is a defogger, so my first hazard remover. It gets Will-O-Wisp. It has poison coverage. It has fairy coverage. It has fire coverage. It does a little bit of everything, and its three abilities are all extremely, extremely good. It has Levitate, so if I want to get rid of that ground weakness that I already have. It has Neutralizing Gas, which if there's an ability that's extremely hard to deal with, I could just bring in Weezing and just say, nah, you're not getting that. And then it also has Misty Terrain, which it doesn't add really much offensively, but if I don't want to deal with status conditions, or if I want to get rid of someone else's terrain, is an extremely um, good terrain setter. Uh, there is a Rillaboom team, and there is an Ndidi team, so you could see this on the horizon using um, that ability, but you never know. I can also... I don't have any Unburdened Mons, um, spoiler, but... Either way, Galarian Weezing is a fantastic defensive fairy type. I was always going to choose two defensive, uh, two fairy types if I chose Valiant. And it could be offensive, it could be defensive, and I feel like I'm going to more run it in a defensive way, but you never know. Draft is crazy, and you do some weird things. So, extremely excited to get this, but now it's kind of realizing I don't want to run Levitate every week, and I do have a little bit of a ground weakness because I have Jirachi, I have Weezing, and I really wanted another mon that resisted fairy i have valiant and kiram as my two big breakers and i wanted another fairy resist but that's kind of hard to find to find a mon that resists fairy and also isn't weak to ground well there is one and that mon is rotom heat rotom heat now got access to pain split has the levitate ability so that quad weakness to ground is gone volt switch will has shadow boss thunderbolt it has discharge it has so many good coverage moves and has great stats i can use this thing with a scarf i can use it with boots i can use it with specs i feel like i'm gonna more because you're gonna see my next mon i'm gonna be using this more defensively this season um but you never know week in week out there may be something different but i'm really happy that i got this as my fire type uh it's just a great mon i feel like pain split makes this mon way more valuable than it was before i mean beforehand it didn't have any form of recovery unless you went like citrus or leftovers, but then you're weak to rocks. So I really wanted to use this mod now that it has pain split and has just a great move pull. It really does for what it does and great, great stats. I mean, the HP, yeah, you're never running attack though, and its speed is very respectable, um, especially with those defensive stats and special attack. So my next mod, I was going to go right here. I was thinking... Rhyferior fits the team. I really wanted a good offensive ground type, um, but I was also looking, and I still I still wanted to deal with the ground weakness, and I didn't want to rely on Rotom solely for water types. I felt that water types were a little bit of a pain um, to deal with, to break through, and I felt like I was using Rotom more as a defensive uh, mon, which doesn't really deal with water types, so... I went with a mon that I've been drafting over and over and over again. I absolutely love this mon in draft. It is no surprise that I took this, if you know me. I took Kilowattro as my first Terra Captain. Kilowattro with three unbelievable abilities in Volt Absorb, Competitive, and Wind Rider. Last season I had this mon as a Terra Captain with the same Terra types, and it was it was great. 125 speed outspeeds Valiant, which I really wanted a mon that went over Valiant. Um, Valiant's a very fast mon, but also at the same time, I want people to be forced into scarfing against Kilowattrel so that they have to put less stats into their offenses for Valiant for my other breakers. So Kilowattrel kind of makes everyone have to prep a little bit differently. And Terra Blast Flying just picks up KOs. It's unbelievable. Terra, Grass Wa uh, Terra, excuse me. Terra Blast Water is great for those ground types, those rock types, those fire types, and also great defensively with Volt Absorb. And Terra... Gra Terra Blast ground deals with the ground types, deals with the poison types, and I really wanted offensive ground coverage, which I feel like I do. This thing's going to come in, it's going to click Volt Switch, it's going to click Terra Blast, it's going to get out of there. It gets Roost, it gets Hurricane. If I really want, like, Specs, uh, Terra Flying Hurricane is absolutely ridiculous. That does so much damage to anything. I mean, I mean, it's just, 105 Special Tech doesn't jump off the page, 
but this thing lifts hits and it does damage so the stats really don't constitute what it does uh this is a fantastic mod so next mod i wanted i wanted this mod before the draft before i even knew my pick before i knew anything i was going to draft this mod no matter what if it fell to me in the proper position and it did it fell right into my lap blastoise blastoise gives me a spinner so it gives me another hazard remover outside of Galarian Weezing, it gives me Shell Smash, it gives me Momentum and Flip Turn, and I can run this offensively, I can run it defensively, I can run it special, I can run it physical, I mean, it gets Earthquake, it gets Wave Crash, it gets Dark Pulse, Dragon Pulse, Dark, uh, excuse me, Flash Cannon, uh, Surf, it gets Water Spout as well, if I run Scarf, it, this is maybe the most underrated mod in the draft, I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I think this mod is going to do so good i've drafted it one time before in a nat dex draft and i it put in so much work it, i think it was either my kill leader or my second kill leader and it just it clicks shell smash and it does damage this thing is absolutely ridiculous it doesn't have scald anymore i believe i think it just has surf um but still is going to do a ton of damage and i'm extremely extremely excited to use blastoise so the wheel came back to me and i got the two mons i absolutely wanted i really wanted a dark type um, to deal with some of that psychic weakness I had with Galarian Weezing as well as Valiant. And I also really wanted a grass type to finish off my uh, grass water fire core with Blastoise and Rotom Heat. And I also wanted a new speed tier. I had a pretty big gap between Iron Valiant and Jirachi between 116 and 100. And I wanted to close that gap a little bit so that people had to prep a little bit differently. So I got Zarud. Zarud has a base 105 speed stat, has really good attacking stats, and very, very respectable defensive stats. Um, it is quad weak to bug, so U-turn is going to hurt, but I can use this thing as a U-turn pivot, I can use it as a knockoffer, I can use a banded scarf, I can use it defensively with leech seed um, and other moves. I've never used Zarud before, but I'm very excited to try something completely new. This mod is, it feels like it should be in my comfort zone, but also... I don't know, I had Ogre Pond, um, Teal Mask last time, and I kind of had similar stats, and wasn't amazed by it, but this is a different mod, it's a different season, it's a different team, so I'm very excited to use Zarud and have it as my grass type, my only grass type, but that is okay, so I have my Fairy Dragon Steel Core, and I have my Fire Water Grass Core, so now I can kind of free fall it, but I knew I needed a ground type, I'd been thinking, I really was thinking about Ursaluna Blood Moon uh, as a ground type, I was thinking about Ursaluna, I was thinking about Ting Lu uh, as well as a dark, for a dark type, but I also really wanted to capitalize on another Terror Captain. I feel like with my next Mon, I absolutely do that in Golurk. Golurk is going to be my ground type, it's going to be my ghost type, and this thing is going to hit like an absolute truck. It has no guard, so those dynamic punches are 100% accurate, those poltergeists are 100% accurate. And with Terror Ghost, I mean, Terror Ghost, Choice Band, Poltergeist, if you don't resist it, you are dying. I'm sorry, you are just straight up dying. There's, there's nothing that takes that hit. Um, Dynamic Punch is such a fantastic move, and with Terra Fighting, it's just ridiculous. The Terra Electric deals with those water types. It deals with... It makes it so I only have one weakness and ground, um, but also I have Iron Fist, so Iron Fist Thunder Punch with Terra Electric. Fantastic. Extremely, extremely excited to use this mod. I mean, I... I didn't think it should have been six points. Um, it was seven, but it got voted down to six, and that meant I could have it as a Terra Captain with Kilowatt Troll, and I felt like I needed to capitalize on that. And so I have a physical Terra Mon, and I have a special Terra Mon, which I feel like makes it, it it's very difficult to prep for. Um, it's not a great defensive Mon, I will admit, but if I can, you know, find a way to raise my speed in some fashion and click a button, you're screwed. It, it's over. So my next mon i really wanted to go with the combination with i had seven points left and i wanted to go grafii for five and i wanted to go weird Deer for two i really wanted another speed tier with grafii um, but it did get taken right about three picks after i picked up golurk so i was like okay i'm not getting grafii and i still kind of wanted weird Deer, but then i was looking and there was another point there was another mod at five points that i felt like was weird Deer, but kind of just better in every way and so that's what I did. And I went with Burrigarath. Burrigarath gives me a Pivot Mom with Baton Pass. It's a Wish Passer. It has a very wide move pull, actually. It has Earthquake, it has Curse, it has Thunderbolt. It also has Sap Sipper as an ability, which is fantastic. It has Armor Tail if I really just don't want to deal with priority moves. This is a great mod. 
Um, I'm, I can run it physically, I can run it specially, I can run it defensive, which I'll probably run it more defensive, but it really doesn't need Terra. It has a good type, uh, it gets rid of a ghost weakness I did have, so I'm glad I got rid of that. And it's just an overall good mod. I really wanted um, another psychic type, so I wasn't relying on like Zen Headbutt um, from Jirachi, because to be honest, I'm, I don't really want to use psychic moves with Jirachi. It's not really what it does, but if I have to, of course I will. Uh, so I really wanted another psychic type, and this fell into my lap. It was either this or Weird Ear, and I felt like having the wish, the wish pass was really, really nice for this team, depending on the matchup. So last one, I had two points left. I was in between three different mods. I was in between Persian, Kamala, and Swalot. Um, Persian gave me 115 speed, which, you know, I was like, well, Iron Valiant is 116. It doesn't really constitute any prep on their end. If I didn't have Valiant, then I probably would have gone it um, to get that speed tier. But also Swalot, I just, I was looking at its moves. I'm like, eh, I don't really want it. So I went another spinner in Kamala. Kamala also can't get status. Um, so kind of a, a trend with that Misty train I was talking about earlier with Galarian Weezing. It has a fantastic move pull. I mean, 115 attack is nothing to laugh at, and it, its defenses are not great. It's not a great mod, it's a two-point mod for a reason, but it's maybe the best two-point mod there, and it gives me another spinner. So in case I don't want to bring um, Rapid Spin on Blastoise, or I don't want to bring Defog, or I don't want to bring... On, on Weezing, but I don't want to bring one of those mods, you know, I, it gives me another option. Um, not really sure how much I'm going to use Kamala, but uh, I, I think it's a good pick, and I don't think having another normal type, having another ghost immunity is bad. I feel like it actually helps my team a lot. So, this is the team. I'm super excited to try this team. I'm so excited to try these Terra Captains. Uh, I mean, I'm not really trying Kilowatt Troll. I've, I've used this in several drafts. I'm extremely comfortable with Kilowatt Troll. But I'm excited to try Valiant, it's a new mon, and I'm excited to try Kiram, another new mon. It's just a lot of stuff that I'm not used to trying. Um, Jirachi is going to be really fun, I love the versatility, and I'm, I'm so excited to get Blastoise um, for the first time that it's it's in the in, in the game. I think that mon's going to be so fun, but Valiant, I've seen what it does, and it, it just it does so much damage. I feel like this team is super well balanced, I've looked at the, the type charts, and this, this team doesn't have any like overlap and weakness like there's no if you if you add up all the types there's no weakness uh, it's either neutral or we are good a, against it defensively it's unbelievable I, I felt like um i got some help from a lot of good friends and i'm extremely excited to try this team um so thank you all for watching i'm going to be posting team builders per the week and i'm also going to be posting the battles so really excited about this season and yeah i'll catch you all later